Oh, God. Why do you have a target back, Scott? Please don't tell me that's full of fetuses. Oh, you just wait. That's next just wait. It's that's coming. next month? It's coming. Oh, you're curing them? Like a fine. <laughs> You'll see whiskey. what I have in this bag. Or scotch. Anywho. No, oh, um. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say now. Oh! The Westboro Baptist Church actually uh, decided that they were going to, uh, back when that whole computer guy, what's his name? Steve Jobs. Works. Jobs. <laughs> Steve Jobs. When he died, they decided they wanted to protest the, uh, you know, his funeral because they called him a godless man who served no one but himself. But um, they, they posted it on Twitter, which I didn't know that they had a Twitter account for one thing. But two, on the, the little bottom of fine print, it said, sent from Twitter for iPhone. <laughs> they sent it from a fucking iPhone. So like, he only served himself like, okay, well, you're playing words with friends in church right now, so shut up. But that situation is, is pretty much akin to just Hitler going around, you know, the Austria, I'm like, hey, going to, like Jewish jellies, like, hey, can I put this flyer up? Is this fine? <laughs> can I put this flyer up here? And they're like, what's it for? Like, oh, just this, just this cause I've been trying to start. <laughs> I hope it catches on. You want to sign? Oh, wait. Ooh, those eyes. <laughs> it's kind of not a good... You know what? I'll go to a different place. I'm going to a different place. Doesn't make fucking any sense at all. And, oh, God, Fred, folks. You need to die in a house fire that is full of gay people having sex with each other. <laughs> But I want all the gay people to get out and him be the only person still stuck in the house. Be like, oh, why couldn't I have been having an anal bootage with another man? I don't know what I'm talking about. Shut up, Steven. Steven, your laugh is uh, as obnoxious as that Ferris Bueller CRV commercial. Right, Scott, there you are. Oh, God, he has a perfect bag. He's coming. Scott Corker, everybody. All right, everybody knows me. I'm a kind of arty guy. And uh, William S. Burroughs wrote this uh, novel, Naked Lunch, using a technique called cut up. And when he wrote this, he said, I was bringing the literature up to date with painting, which was then 50 years behind, and the, the, pa the uh, painters had already been in the collage technique. In fact, the collage technique was somewhat old hat by then. But no one, no one has, bring, has brought this with comedy. So, I am going to tell a bunch of jokes with the help of the audience. Yeah. I have taken a bunch of jokes, the setups, <laughs> the premises, <laughs> and the punchlines. <laughs> no! No! Was it a premise and a setup? <laughs> Now, I'm going to illustrate this. Now, some of these jokes are what we comedians call street jokes. Not the pharmaceutical grade humor you're used to from me. <laughs> Your mother is so ugly. Premise. When she goes to the harbor. Set up. Not even the tugboat's whistle. <laughs> Hilarious. Now I will mix that hilarity in with the other hilarity, and I need a volunteer from the audience. Hey. Will, come on up, Will. Ha. Your joke, sir. The premise. Oh, you just got that. Oh, oh your mother's so fat. The setup. When your mom goes to the graveyard, the punchline. Hey, that's my vagina. <laughs> Claire, come on up and get a joke, buddy. The premise. A man goes to the rabbi. The setup. And they'd all heard each, joke, each other's jokes so many times that they just sang a number that corresponded to the joke. 
and the punchline. Jews! Say Jews. <laughs> <laughs> a Jew and a black man go into a bar. Give that to Chris. <laughs> hey Bruce, I think I'm pregnant. Who's the father, Bruce? <laughs> Fuck you and your mom's diseased cunt. <laughs> Chris, come on up and get a joke. Oh. The Prince! A man goes up to a prostitute. I knew you'd pick up a dirty joke. That's why everybody hates you. <laughs> then when the morgue workers run a train on her, African Americans. <laughs> See, Steve thought I was gonna have niggers in here, but no, I'm not saying that word. Who wants to come up and have a wrath? Come on up here, wrath. Pick a joke. <laughs> Not you. The premise. <laughs> oh. Oh. A man in a leprechaun walk into a bar. And when she goes to the harbor. that Angelina Jolie would adopt it. <laughs> would you like to pick out a joke, sir? Yay. I win! The premise! <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> mean Joe Green walks into a bar. The setup! That's actually the sofa. I mean Joe Green, all pro badass, and I don't take shit off any cracker. <laughs> and the punchline. And the man asked the prostitute, is that your monkey? <laughs> That's the first time we've had the same uh, premise and setup. <laughs> all right, who wants to do another joke? Peter, come on up here, buddy. The premise. A priest and a rabbi were discussing religion. The setup! And the man orders a beer and a beer and a shot glass for the leprechaun. The punchline! John Leguizamo. <laughs> Chris, you got one of your jokes in here. Come and see if you can find the rest of it. Alright, I'm getting flashed here. Your mother's so poor. <laughs> and the leprechaun says, I'll give you three wishes, but you have to let me fuck you in the ass. The punchline. Well, you might as well wine and dine me and roof me first. <laughs> that joke made much too sense to it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end with, uh, with a character. Porn Yoda. Yay. On her face she comes. <laughs> I feel a terrible disturbance in my pants. Mmm, younglings. <laughs> Ask the mouth it is. Luke, who's your daddy? <laughs> and one more quick one. Porn Kermit. <laughs> Great to meet you, Good night! Yay! That's the only. You, oh, you tangled up the mic cord with the.